Yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Today is Monday, April 29th. It is 4.38. And uh, we're about to do some NFL news. We're about to look at some NFL news, baby. We're about to look at some NFL news. That's what we're about to do. I'm about to go live on TikTok right now. Going live on the talk. Okay. We are going live on the TikTok. And uh, yeah. What's going on? Did you give draft grades for each team? No, not yet. I haven't done it. I, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I think I'm going to do an individual video for every single team. I don't know. Should I do an individual video for every single team or like like a take from every single team? I was kind of like thinking like different takes for every single team, you know, because a lot of people got some cool shit going on with their rookies and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do one or the other, though. I got to do something. I'm definitely going to do a video for every team. What's going on, people on the TikTok? What's going on? What's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're watching on the TikTok, head over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. You know, Tico Fantasy Show. If you follow, you're going to get your name on this board behind me. It's filling up quickly. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to do some NFL news here shortly. And that's the plan. Not a lot of news going on, but nonetheless, we're still going to do it. We're going to do all the news. All the news, all the news incoming real soon. We're going to do all the news in like two minutes. We're going to start two minutes. We're going to look at all the news, see what's happening in the league, talk about it, you know, get some opinions, you know, chat, do the thing. We're going to do the thing with the thing. And if you're watching on TikTok, TikTok, go over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. Um, follow, get your name on the board behind me. Yeah. Yeah, the dry spell does start right now. This is the NFL. The NFL dry spell is about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. It kind of sucks. You know, we're about to get into the the peak of the offseason, as I would say. You know, it's going to get to the point where there's, you know, not much going on at all. It's going to be a little boring. A little boring. You know, we got rookie minicamp, I believe, coming up in two weeks, I think, is rookie minicamp. Two weeks? Not quite sure. But uh, then something happens after that. And uh, yeah, if you're watching on TikTok... Head over to Twitch, at Tico Fantasy Show. I know it's backwards, but Tico Fantasy Show on Twitch. Head on over there. Get your name on the board behind me. And we're going to start looking at the news in a second. And, uh, yeah, you're going to be able to see the news if you're on Twitch. You're going to see the news over there. And uh, I know you want to see the news. So, yeah. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on? What's going on? I think we're going to start here soon. Y'all ready? I think I'm ready. I'm ready to start the news. Screw it. Screw it. I think it's time to start the news. Let me see if I got it pulled up. Yeah, we got it pulled up. It's time to do the news. Here we go. Bang! News time, baby. News time. News time. Let's see what's happening. Okay, let me make sure that this looks right. Oh. Okay. Uh, what is this? The 11 undrafted free agents to reach agreements with the Washington Commanders. So you're going to see a lot of this over the next couple days. You're going to see all of these freaking... Uh, these rookies that didn't get drafted, they're going to be just signing everywhere. It's going to be hot shit. It's going to be the thing. And so here are all the ones that signed with the uh, commanders. We got Shigozi Anusium. <laughs> Sam Hartman, you know, the worst QB in the NFL now. Sam Hartman is officially on the commanders. I couldn't think of a better place for the worst QB in the NFL to go. But, you know, Sam Hartman, not very good in my opinion. And uh, now he's on the commanders. Austin Jones, Ben Nickel, David... No, uh, <laughs> David No Wago Wuga Woo. <laughs> I, that's that's all I got. I'm sorry. I, I can't pronounce the name better than that. No Wago Woo. But listen, if you're watching on TikTok, head over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. Follow. Get your name on the board behind me. And uh, yeah, head on over there. Do that. I'm reading the chat over there too a lot more. Let's see what y'all are saying. We still going for Odell. Uh, I'm such a big fan. You don't understand. Hey, thanks, Gray Squirrel. Hey, Gray Squirrel just followed. Nice. Um, new follower. Nice, nice, nice. Your bears are cooking. Sam Hartman still taking over QB1. Well, man, Sam Hartman's kind of ass. That's all I got to say about that. But let's keep going here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep going. We got more news. More news. What is this? QB1. A Anthony Richardson, what's he up to? Just vibing? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Does he look healthy? Okay. Hard to get any, hard to really like tell if he's healthy from a, you know, a 20 second clip, but, uh, you know, the Colts are going to be kind of, 
I like the Colts draft. The Colts had a really good draft, you know, freaking who'd they get in the first? Uh, Layatu Latu and the second you get freaking A.D. Mitchell. They had a good draft. I don't mind that. A.D. Mitchell, Michael Pittman, Josh Downs. Uh, who else do you got? Who else do you got on that uh, Colts offense? J.T. Yeah, that's... Watch out, man. Watch out. That Colts offense might be pretty gross. I don't know, man. That Colts offense might be pretty nasty. I don't know, brother. I don't know. All right, now Travis Kelsey has signed his new deal. Travis Kelsey signed a two-year, $34 million contract extension today, and uh, he's going to be with them till... Let me see. I'm actually curious. I wanted to look at this earlier, but I saved it for this. I didn't look at it. Uh, Travis Kelsey contract. Let's see. Travis Kelsey contract. Where is Spotrack? 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 Here's Spotrack. So he is now under contract for Travis Kelsey is under contract with the Chiefs till okay so he had this season left on his deal and then they just added two more so he's under contract for three more years three more years for Travis Kelsey that's how long how much longer he's under contract with the Chiefs he's got this year at this year is at 15 million dollars this year and then 17 million dollars over the next two years so 17 million next year and 17 million the year after and then i don't know we'll see he'll be how old will he be at the end of that 35 no he'll be 37 he'll be 38 by the end yeah okay that's his last contract damn damn that's kind of crazy travis kelsey's gonna retire ladies and gentlemen travis kelsey's gonna retire we're gonna see he's setting it up He's setting it up, getting it ready to retire. So he's going to he's gonna play 2024. He's going to play 2025. He's going to play 2026. And then I think that's it. I think that is the end of Travis Kelsey after three years. I think we will see three more years of him, and that's it. Three more years would be a lot, though. Him playing till he's 38 years old is kind of crazy. He might have some freaking Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey babies by then, you know? She. But let's keep going here. The Miami Dolphins have officially picked up the fifth-year option for Jalen Waddle. Clap it up, everybody. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. We love to hear it. We love to hear it, baby. We love to hear it. We love to hear that we're keeping Jalen Waddle for the fifth year. We got to get that man an extension. I don't know how much money he's going to want. He's definitely going to want a lot. So that's going to be interesting to see how much money freaking Jalen Waddle wants. How much money? Okay. Let me ask you all this. Let me ask you all this. How much money do you think Jalen Waddle's going to uh, need to take for a new contract? How much money do you think it's going to take? I, I have a number in my head. I know how much I think. Let me see what y'all think. How much money do we have to pay Jalen Waddle? How much? What do y'all think? 58 mil. Well, I'm, I'm talking yearly. Wait, I'm talking yearly here. So I'm talking yearly. Don't go 158, 150 mil. These are crazy numbers y'all are throwing out here. One dollar. What is this? What is this nonsense? I just wanted some real answers here. 15 to 20, I say more than 15 to 20. Three years 75, that is a good answer. I can get behind three years 75. That's right where I was looking. 25, 20, uh, 15, 15. No, dude, do you guys not know how much wide receivers get in the NFL now? 15 million dollars. 15 mil. Psh. You think Jalen Waddle's gonna take just 15 mil? Y'all are wild and wild. I'm saying, I'm thinking we give him, I'm thinking we give him. So this is my thought process. Tyreek. Tyreek already said that he's playing, I believe, I believe it's three more years now, next year and two more, and then he's retiring. That's what he said he's going to do. I don't know if that's true or not, but I believe him at the moment. That's what I think he's going to do. And so if that is the case, I think we give Jalen Waddle a four-year, $100 million contract, $25 million a year. That's what I think. That's my guess. 100 mil, four, four years, 100 mil, 25 a year. That's the same exact deal, basically, as what Devontae Smith got but I think one extra year on it instead. I think Devontae Smith was only three years, so that's what I think Waddle gets. They keep him around for four more years from now, 2028. They keep him around for a long time. He's a Dolphin, and yeah, that's what I think happens. Or, you know, the Dolphins, I wouldn't be surprised if we just botched the whole situation and freaking lost Jalen Waddle. Wouldn't be shocked if that happened either, so, you know, either one is possible, but you know what's also possible? If you're watching on TikTok, you should go over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. Follow, get your name on this board behind me, and you can see what the news I'm reading. It's like me, like you're gonna get the same exact view of me and the news. So you should go over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. Follow, get your name on the board behind me at the end of the stream. Let's keep going here, though. Let's see, let's see. Commanders Inc. 11 rookies. We already read that. Uh, we also signed Jalen Phillips' fifth-year option, so that's good news, even though he's dealing with the torn Achilles, not worrying about it right now. Uh, the Vikings exercise their 
Uh, fifth year option for Christian Derisaw. Good news for Vikings fans. I mean, that's exactly what you expected him to do. I don't think you expected him to do any less, anything less than that. <laughs> Uh, the Commanders and Eagles shine above the rest in Eric Frotron's NFC draft grades. I don't really give a shit. What he give it? What? What? How are you going to give the Vikings? This guy gave the Vikings a C plus draft grade. What the fuck? What? Why would you do that? A C plus draft grade for the Vikings? That's bonkers. That's no thank you. No thank you. I'm sorry. I think I, in my book at least. I think the Vikings have one of the best drafts. I think the Vikings had one of the best drafts. If Even if you just go, you know, even if you don't look at the later rounds and you just look at the first round, the Vikings have one of the best drafts, bro. Dallas Turner and J.J. McCarthy, like, I don't love, I don't love J.J. McCarthy, obviously. I don't love J.J. McCarthy, but Dallas Turner at pick 17, come on. Come on. Giving him a C-plus for that is wild. I'm sorry. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Giving him, giving the Vikings a lower draft grade than the Falcons is beyond bonkers. Beyond bonkers. That shit's crazy. What is this? Chiefs offensive tackle King Sumadia has some insane football bloodlines, especially when Penny Sewell and Puka Nakua are a couple of his cousins. Um, up at Detroit. Interesting. Quick, uh, I was reading up your family history. Can you name all your cousins that are in the NFL, your family members that are in the NFL? Shoot, currently, right now, um, so there's Penay, um up at Detroit. Um, shoot, shout out Big Penay, man. He, he making big no, moves have, right now. No, we don't know where Penay um, Sewell is. Like what? Noah, he's at uh, Chicago Bears. And I got Nephi, he's at the Saints. And then got Puka, Big Books. He's That's at crazy. He's at the Rams. But shoot, I had a bunch of family members that played in the league. Uh, that's crazy bro that's like the like hawaiian like that i think it's I, I, oh shit i might be wrong there i think they're hawaiian right am i wrong right sewell puka uh king sumati king suamatia mataya they're 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 hawaiian right am i wrong what are they i think they're hawaiian anybody know anybody know no no nobody knows <laughs> let's see <laughs> waiting for somebody to tell me if they know or not <laughs> I think they're Hawaiian, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're Hawaiian. But yeah, that's kind of sick. Your whole entire family, not your whole entire family, but Polynesian, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hawaiian's not, I'm sorry. Samoan, Polynesian, it's one, okay, I'm sorry. Hawaiian's not really, Hawaiian's not, <laughs> I don't think Hawaiian's a race. <laughs> I don't think that's Hawaiian, Hawaiian's a punch. I'm pretty, yeah, well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But that's pretty sick, though. They have like a bunch of family members in the, in the league. That's kind of dope. Kind of dope. Oh, but here's the compensation update. Travis Kelsey has signed a two-year, $34.25 million deal that includes $17 million fully guaranteed this year and most of next year guaranteed on day three of the league year in mid-March. So he's staying around. We already kind of talked about that. Uh, let's see what he had to say, though. Ooh. Back at it again, baby. Ooh. Had to see a little Super Bowl right there, man. Feels good to be in KC. I remember coming here 12 years ago, man. It's, uh, it's an honor and a pleasure, and uh, I can't wait to get after it these next two years, but um, no better than right now, getting, uh, getting fired up for this year. Um, just got out on the field with the boys. Doggone, we're back at it, baby. Chiefs forever. Back at it Yo, again. Let's figure out the schedule real quick. I want to see what the uh, NFL upcoming dates. I want to see when everything starts. So let me look at these dates real quick. Let's look at this real fast. Let's see what happens. So March, what are we in? We're in April, the end of April. The NFL draft just happened. Okay, so May 2nd is the deadline. So when's May 2nd? Thursday? Thursday is the deadline for teams to exercise the fifth-year option for players selected in the first round of the 2021 NFL draft. So... Fifth year options are going to happen over today and tomorrow. Uh, May 3rd through the 6th, or May 10th through the 13th, clubs may elect to hold their one three day post draft rookie mini camp from Friday through Sunday or Saturday through Monday. So, okay, so either this weekend, so some teams will have their rookie mini camps this weekend, other teams will have their rookie mini camp next weekend. So that's happening. And then after that, not this week, but next week 
is the rookie football developmental program. So that's like the same exact shit. That's the same thing. So, you know, the following week, the rookies will be able to come in and work out or whatever. That's what that's talking about. And uh, spring league meeting slash slash coach accelerator happens May 20th. But when does the league year start? When the hell does the league year start? When does, oh, I mean, the league year already started, that I know, but, like, when does, like, when does, uh, whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit, what do you call it, what do you call it, training camp and OTAs and shit, when does all that happen, that's what I want to know, so, teams can stage OTAs and mandatory minicamp, okay, okay, oh, shit, dude, we got a long time, we got a really long time till, <laughs> Guys, we got a guys, we got a problem. We better start paying attention to the NBA because we got a long time until NFL like starts getting significant again. Like OTAs, OTAs can start OTAs can start in May and June and then training camp opens in late July. So that's what are we in? We're in the end of April. You know, we still got May. We got 2 months, 3 months. We got three months until frickin' training camp opens. Three months. That's a quarter of the year. A quarter of the year until training camp starts. So that's kind of wild. Damn. We're going to really be... We're going to really be frickin' scraping the barrel for frickin' things to talk about real soon. You know? We got this... This week will be fine. You know, we'll still be talking about the draft and everything. You know, NBA playoffs, this, this, and that. But man, it's going to get bad real soon. There's going to be nothing to talk about. Like a month from now... Shit, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to start talking about the freaking Olympics. It's gonna get bad. How many rings do you think the Chiefs get before Travis Kelsey retires? Two. Two. I think they. I think that. I think. I think it's inevitable that the Chiefs win the Super Bowl this year. I think it's inevitable. And then, uh, you know, he probably gets one more. Yet three years. <laughs> I mean, shit. They probably win next year, lose, and then win another one. Wouldn't be shocked. Makes sense to me. I can get behind it. The one year where they don't win one, the Texans win a Super Bowl. The NFC doesn't win any Super Bowls. None for the NFC. They don't deserve them. They don't get. They don't get them. They don't get them. They, sorry, you don't get those. Not for you. Not for the NFC. A big day for the Kelsey brothers. Former Eagles Jason Kelsey is joining Monday Night Football. Nice, nice. Monday Night Football. You will see Jason Kelsey on Monday Night Football, ladies and gentlemen. Vikings exercise the fifth year option, fifth year option, fifth year option, blah, 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 blah. What's this? Does Caleb Williams is the best supporting cast ever for a number one pick? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. You know, I talked about a year ago. <laughs> I talked about a year ago how Bryce Young had one of the best supporting casts ever for a rookie QB and look how that went. But, you know, the Bears got a lot better than that. And Caleb Williams, no offense to Bryce Young, but Caleb Williams is much better than Bryce Young, I think, at least. But Keenan Allen, Roma Dunze, DJ Moore, where do you think that ranks? Let me, ooh, okay. Where does, where does DJ Moore, Roma Dunze, Keenan Allen rank in, like, best wide receiver trios in the league? Trios, not duos, not duos, trios. Best wide receiver trios in the league. That has to be... They have to be at least top five. At least top five. I, off the top of my head, I can't think of one better than them. Uh, let me look at my phone. Let me look at my phone. Let's see. Well, who would have a better, a better three? I don't think there's anybody in the league who has a better three than them. Nope, nope, nope. The Chiefs, maybe. The Chiefs, the Chiefs and Texans are the only two teams that I think can even compete with them. Let's see, Browns, no, 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 no. Garrett Wilson, Garrett Wilson, Malachi Corley, Mike Williams? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Ayuk, Ayuk Debo, Ayuk Debo, uh, frickin' Pusall? <laughs> No, I think I think the only trio in the league that's better than them is. Oh, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. You got? I forgot about DK. I forgot about DK and Jigba Lockett. That's pretty good. I'd say they're. Hmm. Interesting. 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 DJ Moore, Debo, Keenan Allen, Worthy, Ricky. Oh my goodness! What does that even mean, brother? <laughs> 
What does that even mean? I don't know. I think the Texans are the only team that is like 100% better for sure. Uh, the Chiefs might be better. Rasheed Rice, Hollywood Brown, Xavier Worthy. I'm not going to say they are. I think those two are like pretty even, them and the Bears. Uh, besides those two, though, I think they're better than the Niners. I think they're better than the... I don't know. Seahawks have a pretty good trio. I Like, Geno Smith... Look, if, like, Geno Smith didn't exist and the Seahawks actually had, like, a better QB, the Seahawks would be significantly better. I don't think Geno Smith is a great quarterback. But DK Metcalf and Jigba, Lockett, that's a pretty damn good trio. Pretty damn good trio. So I'd say the Bears are probably sitting at three. Maybe they're tied. Maybe they're better than somebody. I'd say they probably have the third best trio in the league, which is, you know, a huge upgrade over last year where they freaking had, you know, Probably one of the worst wide receiver rooms in the league, which is DJ Moore and freaking Darnell Mooney. So huge upgrades. You know, if Justin, if Justin Fields, if Justin Fields had this freaking offense, bro, he, it's not fair. It's just not fair what they did to Justin Fields. They really just like, they really, they really messed him up. They really just, they really didn't do right by him, bro. They really didn't do right by Justin Fields. It still pisses me off, but it's fine because he's going to overtake Russell Wilson, lead the Steelers to a Super Bowl, and it's all going to be okay. It's, all, it's okay, Steelers fans. Justin Fields is going to be the answer. Let's see what this is. What's Roma Dunze saying? What is this? Walter Payton! That's the man right there. Welcome to the Chicago Bears. We have more players in the Hall of Fame than any other team. What is that true? Really? The Bears have more people in the Hall of Fame than any other team? Didn't know that. Learn something new every day. On to this tradition of the Bears. The city is on its toes, man. Looking for a win. Looking for a winner. Looking for a Super Bowl. I'm bringing somebody that cares, somebody that loves the game, somebody that loves his teammates. They got me hyped, they got me ready to go. The one thing that, you know, you can't control. I kind of want to see the Bears be good. This is a stupid video, but I want to see, I want to see the Bears be good. I'm gonna, I'm very curious. Like, damn it, bro. We got to wait another six months till the season starts. Why can't it just start the day? Oh, oh man. So sad. We got to wait so long till we get to watch these people. But you know what I did here? You know what I did here, ladies and gentlemen? Listen to this. I heard that, uh... You can now do uh, fantasy football, mock drafts, maybe mock draft stream. Maybe I'll do my first mock draft tomorrow just for shits and giggles. You know, I know it's not the, the obviously the ADP is going to change significantly over the next six months, but maybe I'll do a mock draft tomorrow. Mm. I heard that you could do those now. But listen, if you're watching on TikTok, head over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. I know it's backwards here, but at Tico Fantasy Show. Follow. Get your name on this board behind me. As you can clearly see, we're running out of space. We really only got the top left. So go over there to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show, follow, and I will be writing people's names on the board at the end of the stream. So please follow. We're going live every day, 4.30. Every day. This is I saw this earlier. This is funny. Justin Jefferson, I'm open, I'm open, and JJ McCarthy like just fourth, fucking soars it over his head. Timing. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Listen, don't be shocked when freaking Sam Darnold ends up being better than JJ McCarthy, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be shocked. Baltimore Ravens, pen to paper for Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman has officially signed his contract extension. Nice. Good for you, Rashad Bateman. Are you, I don't know, I wonder how much they paid him. How much did they pay Rashad Bateman? Can't be very much. He hasn't done anything in his career, really. He's done jack shit. He's always hurt. Rashad Bateman is always hurt. What'd he do? What'd he do? What'd he do? Uh, he got, oh my, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is that? Dude, give me Spotrack. I don't know what this website is. Let's see what Spotrack says. Spotrack, they signed him. Oh, did they only sign him for this one year? No, it's still 2026. What? What? How much money do you think? How much money do you think Rashad Bateman signed for? Guess. Just guess. Oh, well, people on Twitch can see it, but people on TikTok, guess how much money Rashad Bateman signed for? A two-year contract. Two-year contract. Guess how much he signed for? That's crazy. That is insane. That is all he signed for. That is crazy. I can't believe he signed for that little. That's that's bonkers to me. That is bonkers. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Try, try way less than 1720 mil, buds. Try way less, less than 12. Try way less on a two year deal, too. Eight, 10, three. So far, three and five are the closest answers. He signed a two year, a two year, four million, eight thousand dollar contract. Four million, eight thousand dollar contract for two years. So he's getting paid 2.3. Well, I don't know how they get how they come to that number, but he's getting paid $2.3 million a year. So I guess like through bonuses and shit and other stuff. $2.3 million a year for Rashad Bateman. That's crazy. That is absurd. I I mean shit, why would he sign that? Why would he with the Ravens? This is what the Ravens gave him. Why would why would he sign that? That's crazy. I understand it's a prove it deal. I get it. It's a prove it deal, but still. I mean shit, wouldn't you rather just go prove it somewhere else? With the Ravens, the Ravens gave him this. This is an extension. The Ravens gave him this, a two-year extension. But man, at that point, like, if you're only getting paid $4 million a year, wouldn't you rather just, you know, head over to anywhere else? You know, like, you would get a couple more, more you'd probably get double that at least if you went over somewhere else. And, you know, I don't want to be that guy, but I don't think the Ravens are winning a Super Bowl anytime soon. Sorry. If there's any Ravens fans out there, sorry, but I don't think the Ravens are winning a Super Bowl anytime soon. If they couldn't do it, if they if the Ravens couldn't do it last year with that fantastic team they had, they're not doing it. I'm sorry. With with Lamar Jackson having an MVP season, if they can't do it then, they're not doing it now. That's what's happening. The NFL's gotten better and they've gotten worse. So I don't know what Rashad Bateman's up to, signing a $4 million two-year deal. Frickin', there's rookies. There are rookies. There are second-round rookies who are going to make more money than that. That is crazy, bro. Uh, did the Ravens draft a wide receiver? Not to my knowledge. I don't think they did. I don't think the Ravens drafted a wide receiver. Let us look real quick, though. Let's look. Let's look. Ooh, maybe I'll... You know what? I might do a video tomorrow just rating all of these people's drafts. That might be a good idea. Maybe we'll do a uh, stream just rating everybody's draft. They so, Oh, I'm sorry. They signed Tez Walker. What am I talking about? Uh, the Yeah, they got Tez Walker. Tez Walker. That's it, though. Tez Walker's the only wide receiver they signed. Hey, man, it's more wide receivers than the Raiders got. <laughs> Raiders, <laughs> Raiders didn't draft a single wide receiver. I don't know. Why didn't the Raiders draft a single wide receiver? I don't know, but they, they did not draft a single wide receiver, nor a quarterback. L decision for the Raiders, but I don't know why we're talking about the Raiders, we're talking about Tez Walker. Let me get back to the news here. You know, I went on a little tangent there for a second. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Patrick Mahomes tweeting about Travis Kelsey's new contract. I told y'all I'll never let him leave. Congrats, my guy, at Travis Kelsey. Oh, here we go. Update, Randy Moss, Julian Edelman, Drew Bledsoe, and Rob Gronkowski are some who will roast the GOAT at the greatest roast of all time, Tom Brady, on May 5th, live on Netflix. That is this uh, this Sunday, I believe. This Sunday, Netflix is having a special, live special, roasting Tom Brady. I believe it's at 8 p.m., I think. I think that's what, what time it's at. Not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that, but 8 p.m., uh, Tom Brady's getting roasted on Netflix. Maybe I'll go live for it. I obviously can't show it, but maybe I'll just go live and just watch it, react to it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, let's keep going here. Let's see. Not much, dude. Really, like, boring Monday. Not much news going on today. You know, we're still on that draft hangover. Not much news. Not much news. Travis Kelsey. What is this? Christian McCaffrey is in the gym. Nobody cares. Uh, oh, here we go. What's So here are the schools that had the most picks in the NFL draft this year, the most players. So Michigan. Oh, well, okay, wait, wait. So not just the most players in the draft, but the most people who were picked from these schools. So Michigan had the most at 13, obviously, because they had freaking like 20-something people in this class or 18. I don't remember what it was, but an absurd amount of people in this class. Uh Texas had the next most at 11. Washington had 10. Florida State had 10. Yes, sir. Oh, Florida State, baby. Uh, had 10. Alabama had 10. Georgia had 8. Oregon had 8. Penn State had 8. Yeah, but Michigan led the way with 13. Who are the big winners coming out of the NFL draft? Here we go. In this draft. This is a 7-minute video. I am not watching a 7-minute video. Sorry. Here's a two-minute version of it, though. 40 minutes. What'd you think of his draft? 
DJ. I, I love it. it. Um, um, you know, you know I, 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 it's, it's funny, funny that we share, we share there. there. Going ahead and getting Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Well, here you go. Here's the Eagles 2024 draft class. We got Quinion Mitchell, Cooper DeGene, Ja Jalix. I can't say, never can say his name. I was trying to say it before. Jalix Hunt, I think it is. Will Shipley, An Anias Smith, Jeremiah Trotter, Trevor Keegan, Johnny Wilson. Love Johnny Wilson, bro. Johnny Wilson. Johnny Wilson will step up in that, uh, in that, uh, whatchamacallit, at Eagles offense and be the three, big three. He'll overtake Devontae Parker, 100%, 110%. Johnny Wilson's gross. Florida State boy, we love Johnny Wilson. Love Johnny Wilson. That man, dude, that man's like, man's like six foot five. Dude's crazy tall. He, dude's huge. No diddy. But Quinn Mitchell, Cooper DeGene, that's going to be fun. That's, that's the thing I'm most excited to see. I want to see, dude. I, I hate to say it. I ha I really like. I hate the Eagles. I'm not gonna lie. When are you gonna post on your other accounts? Uh, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? The Eagles. The Eagles defense, bro. Like I hate to be. I hate to say anything about the Eagles. Like good about them because I just. I'm sorry. I don't like the Eagles. If you're an Eagles fan, I'm sorry. I just think you guys have an obnoxious fan base. I, I don't like the Eagles, but that defense is just so young and so gross. It's so young and so gross, bro. Like the fr that defensive line is nasty, you know. Jalen Carter, freaking uh, Jordan Davis. Uh, who else you got up there? Nolan Smith. Um, I'm trying to think of guys who, uh, you know, all the young guys is kind of what I'm naming right here. But now you're adding you freaking got Quinya Mitchell, Cooper DeGene in the secondary. I mean, sheesh, brother, sheesh. I really like what the Eagles are doing with the uh, what, what they did with their draft this year. Really good draft for them. Uh, working the NFL draft is incredible. I don't care. Invite me to the NFL draft next year, NFL, please. Please, bro. Let me announce a pick. Let me announce a Dolphins pick next year. Por favor, mi amigo. Many NFL scouts reported, be reportedly believe Jaden Daniels will have a very similar rookie season to RG3. For reference, RG3 had 3,200 passing yards, 20 passing touchdowns, and 815 rushing yards, and 7 rushing touchdowns as a rookie. Jaden Daniels could be a fantasy steal, you know, or he could be ass. There's like <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> one or the other. He could either be a steal for fantasy football, or he could be ass. What are you betting on? I don't know. But still, to this day, I don't care what anybody says. I still think Drake May is better than Jaden Daniels. Don't care what you think. Don't care who you say it to. I was, you know, after the first round of the draft, I was watching freaking, uh, what game did I watch? I watched, uh, I think it was LSU versus Alabama from this past season. And, you know, the two times, let me look at this real quick. Let me confirm what I'm about to say. Let me make sure I'm not speaking out of my ass. Because I don't want to speak out of my ass. I, you know, not good to speak out of your ass. I want to speak out of my mouth, not my ass. Not good to speak out of your ass. <laughs> uh, so whenever the whenever LSU had like a real competitor they played during the season, you know, they lost. You know, like week one, eight ranked Florida State, L. Uh, Freaking when they played a uh, uh, 20th ranked Ole Miss, L. Uh, number eight ranked Alabama L like all of like, those are the only really, uh, ranked games they played. The only other ranked game they played was Missouri, but they won that game by 10, but you know, uh, Missouri was ranked 21 at the time. So that doesn't really even count. I'm not like really behind that, but you know, I'm a little like, I'm a little skeptical about Jaden Daniels because I was watching that Alabama LSU game and that's a real defense and Alabama defense is what you're going to see is the closest thing in college football to what you're going to see in the NFL with the NFL defense. And Jane Daniels was like bad in that game. He did not play good. You know, he was running, he runs so much and that's not going to work in the league. He runs and he doesn't like, he doesn't fall. He doesn't run out of bounds. He freaking runs right into people because he thinks he can. And dude takes some nasty hits. He takes some nasty, gross hits, bro. Jaden Daniels, if he does that in the league, he's going to get hurt, and we are going to see him before week six not be playing anymore for the rest of the season because he's got to freaking learn how to slide. He's got to learn how to slide because he is going to get hurt. He is going to get hurt. And what did I watch with Drake May? What did I watch with Drake May? Also, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong with this, but I feel like a little bit of Jaden Daniels' success comes from the fact that, you know... He has Malik Na or had Malik Neighbors, Brian Thomas Jr., uh, Mason Taylor, 
You know, he had like really, really good receiving options in that LSU offense. And not to say he's not going to have great receiving options with the commanders. I mean, Terry McLaurin and Jahan Dotson are good, but I don't know. I'm really not, I'm really still not sold on the whole Jaden Daniels thing. Just saying, just saying, maybe some people are, I'm still not sold yet. I'm still, you know, sitting a little behind, got to see a little bit first. I'm not, I'm not ready to hop on that train, but Drake may, I like Drake may, I like Drake may. I really like the Patriots draft and all to be quite, to be quite honest, you know, I really like the freaking. I don't love the Jalen McMillan pick. No, not Jalen McMillan. Jalen Polk pick. I'm not. A, I'm not crazy about it. But I love the Javon Baker pick. You know, Florida, Florida, uh, Florida shit. We love Javon Baker. Dude's gonna be a dog. Listen, mark my words. Mark my words. Mark my words, ladies and gentlemen. Javon Baker will be a more successful wide receiver in the league than Jalen Polk. 110. percent I. I. I'm 100 percent on that. He don't. Jalen Polk don't got that dog in him like Javon Baker does. They reached, they reached so true. That's a great point. I hate, I, I hate to one that guy in the chat, who whoever that is in the chat. Uh, the Patriots freaking reached on Jalen Polk like crazy reach. I'm sorry, I'm not, like there were guy better guys that they could have taken over him, and they took him. Crazy, but I like Javon Baker. I like Javon Baker a lot, and I can't wait to see what him and Drake May are going to be able to do. They should have went. See, I don't love Tez Walker. I don't love Tez Walker, but. I think it would have been smart for the freaking I love the Renardo Green pick. You know I love the Renardo Green pick. I've said it 20 times. I love the Renardo Green pick. But other than that, wait, let me keep going here. Uh, the Patriots should have taken Tez Walker. Because, you know, don't you want to get Drake May, his wide receiver one from college? Like, wouldn't that have made sense? If I was looking at it from an NFL and NFL team's perspective, that makes perfect sense to me. That makes perfect sense to me. I would have 100% went out there and grabbed my freaking QB ones. Uh, wide receiver one from college if I could easily get him in the freaking fourth, fifth round. I don't know why the Patriots didn't do that. Even though I don't really like Tez Walker, I don't think he's that good. Still, I would do it just to, you know, give him a, a piece of familiar, 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 familiarity, 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 familiar, you know what I'm trying to, familiar, I don't know how to say that word. I can't say it. Familiarity? Can't say it. Nope. Can't say it. But listen, if you're watching on TikTok, head over to Twitch, at Tico Fantasy Show, follow, get your name on this board behind me, I'm going to be writing them at the end of the stream in about 22 minutes, you know, we stream for an hour every day, 4.30, Monday through Friday, uh, yeah, follow, at Tico Fantasy Show on Twitch, get your name on the board behind me, let's keep going here, I went on a crazy tangent, crazy tangent there, I don't understand this. Free agent wide receiver Jarvis Landry is expected to participate in the Jacksonville Jags rookie camp. Brother, brother, why are you participating in the freaking rookie camp? You are a veteran. There is no reason for you to be participating in the rookie camp. You know, like what the hell? What the hell? Why, why do they got, why are you making Jarvis Landry? Why are you embarrassing my boy, my Dolphins legend Jarvis Landry and making him, and making him participate in a rookie camp? What the hell, bro? What the hell? That's embarrassing. That ain't right. Like at least say, at least say, oh, we're bringing in Jarvis Landry for a workout. Don't say he's participating in the freaking rookie camp. What the hell? That ain't right. That ain't right, bro. Not right. I love Jarvis Landry. Love him. One of the guys who made me start loving football. Love that dude. I remember him. Good old days. 20, probably 2015, 2014. No, he was drafted in 2013. Same year as OBJ. 2014, 15. Good old days. Ryan Tannehill, Jarvis Landry, Giajai. Oh, my heart. My Dolphins, little, my little Dolphins heart. The good old days. Let's see what Pat McAfee's saying. But, uh, yeah, I like it. Do you think this oh, could be Daniel a trend Jeremiah's moving forward in future drafts? We know how the, the you know, Jordan Love, Aaron Rodgers situation worked out. I think it's not exactly apples to apples when you look at Kirk and Penix. But, uh, yeah, I like how I use that one. I've heard guys like you use that before, DJ, so I'm trying to sound I know, it's good, Jeremy. Is, is this going to happen where, where teams will be drafting first-round quarterbacks, you think, even though they have a solidified guy already in place? Yeah, I think it's different, though. You know, To me, that's the big difference is when a guy has been there, like you can go to your established starter who's already got the locker room in his corner, who's already got the you know the pelts on the wall. The the, the he can be a little bit more secure and comfortable in that situation. I think that that's a fair conversation to have. You know, if you've got a quarterback in his mid thirties, hey, 
first, first of all, you, you got to give them a heads up. up. And yeah, that, that's, that's not when you're on the clock, clock you know, you hey, we just turned in the card for a quarterback. So that, that creates a whole other uh, uh, problem there. But I think when you've had your guidance. That's a great point. That is a great point. I hate to say, oh, shit, what's going on over here? This froze for a second. Uh, dude, the Falcons, the Falcons, uh, what do the Falcons do? Oh, my goodness. Uh, the Falcon, oh, my God. Wait one second, sorry. Okay, the Falcons not telling Kirk Cousins that they were going to draft Michael Penix is what's so fucked up about that situation. That's what that's what is extremely fucked up with that situation. Not the fact that they draft Michael Penix. I don't care about that. That's perfectly fine. You know, uh, they were in QB purgatory with freaking Taylor Heineke and Desmond Ritter and all that other bullshit. They don't want to do that again. You can understand that. I can understand that. We can all understand that. But not telling Kirk Cousins beforehand that you're going to draft Michael Penix at eight when like clearly there's nobody ahead of you who's going to take Michael Penix freaking before you. That's that's a little fucked up. They should have told Kirk Cousins. They should have gave him some fair warning or something. But no, imagine him finding that shit out on his TV. You know, freaking Kirk Cousins is sitting there. He's watching the NFL draft. He's watching the Falcons. He's like, oh, I hope we take Dallas Turner. I hope we take a wide receiver. Maybe we'll be able to get something that, you know, actually helps out the team. And then, no, they freaking take Michael Penix and he's freaking there smacking himself in the head. I mean, shit. They should have told they should have told Kirk Cousins that they were drafting a quarterback. I wish he starts getting into those, that portion. Yeah, I think, look, he's going to be probably pissed about it, but you have that adult conversation with him, like, hey, we got to look after the long term, uh, and we, you know, if, if if the right guy is there, we could consider doing something yeah, like that. Yeah, but you have to have that conversation before the draft. I think that's a totally different situation. They just scratched the check to this guy. I don't know if Kirk Cousins has the address of the facility yet, and then he's already got to deal with all this. He's super excited. Exact quote. Yep. Super excited to work with Michael yep. Penix. It's like, Kirk Cousins will handle this. As great as possible. Oh, he'll be first class, but I probably but we've give seen Kirk though on that, on that quarterback show. He's pretty. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, on like game days and stuff, he's pretty. Uh, remember him and KOC? We didn't know after a couple of scenes yeah. on quarterback if they liked each other. You remember that? Like, hey, these two like each other. Yeah, he's fiery. So you got a backup quarterback, a rookie, top ten pick. Yep. Kirk Cousins is like. He makes a mistake, you know. Penix says, "I think you should do this." Shut up! You know, like, what if, what if there's a chance of that? And then if those bicker, that just one, one piece of content of that happening, now you got a whole another nuke. To yeah, that's true. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Freaking how the Falcons, you know, move forward throughout the entire season with Michael Penix and Kirk Cousins. I understand, obviously. Mike, the goal with Michael Penix is never for him to start over Kirk Cousins at any point in his first year or second year or anything like that. Like, I know that's obviously not the goal, but still, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they move forward with that. It's going to be a, a picky, picky situation. An interesting little situation we got there. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Matthew Berry, Superflex, PPR, Dynasty, Rookie Rankings. Here we go. These are interesting. Let's look at this. We got, so I don't know if anybody out there is in any dynasty leagues. I don't know. I'm in a dynasty league. I got a rookie draft coming up in a couple weeks, you know, right around the corner. And uh, actually, wait, let me plug real quick. Listen, you're watching on TikTok. Go over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show. Man, I just cut, I just bit my tongue. Go over to Twitch <laughs> at Tico Fantasy Show. Follow. Get your name on this board behind me. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Go over there. Much better view, too. Go over there. Much, much, much better view. I can, uh, you know, you can see actually what the hell I'm talking about, and you can see me. And I know who doesn't want to see me and what the hell I'm talking about. I don't know. I want to see both. Okay, so Matthew Berry ranks these rookies. Uh, so if you're in a Dynasty League, this is like how a Dynasty rookie draft would go. Like, that's what this is. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to tell you the order. Okay. Caleb Williams at one. Marvin Harrison Jr. at two. Jane Daniels at three. Malik Neighbors at four. JJ McCarthy at five. Wait a minute. Drake May? That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. I disagree with this. If you're in a super flex, super flex means that you can start two quarterbacks. If you're in a super flex, you're, there is no way you are telling me that JJ McCarthy and Malik Neighbors are going ahead of Drake May. That's crazy. That's bonkers. Can't get behind that in my brain. Sorry. It should be Caleb Marvin, and then, you know, Daniels May, 
And then neighbors, I'd say a Dunze over McCarthy. I'd say a Dunze over McCarthy, in my opinion. You take neighbors over May? That's crazy. That's crazy, in my opinion, brother. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I don't think I would take neighbors over May. In a super flex league where you can start two quarterbacks? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I wouldn't do that. Mm-mm. I want Drake May. Give me Drake May all day. Just because of the upside. And he's a quarterback. I want the freaking upside. Give me that all day. But he's got a Malik Neighbors, J.J. McCarthy, Drake May, Roma Dunze, Xavier Worthy, Brian Thomas, Bo Nix. Whatever. I mean, I guess. I guess I I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's how you could do it. I mean, I'm not. That's not how I. My order for sure. Not my order. But hey, man, he says what he says. Let me ask y'all a question. This is going to be a pretty easy question, actually. I'm not even going to ask you. Forget about it. Forget about it. Not going to ask. Not going to ask. I already know the answer. Not going to ask. The Buffalo Bills pick up the fifth-year option on Greg Rousseau. Uh, the Jacksonville Jags picked up the fifth-year option on T-Law and Travis Etienne Jr. Like that for them. You know, they got to get both of those guys extensions uh, this offseason, I believe. I believe, I believe they play on their fourth year this year, and then next year's their fifth year option, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong, but I think that's how it is. And then they're going to need uh, to get extensions next offseason, Etienne and Lawrence. They might get them this offseason, shit, there's still enough time. Start bench cut, Justin Herbert, CJ Stroud, Jordan Love. Ooh, 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 that's hard. Start bench cut. Start bench cut, Justin Herbert, CJ Stroud, Jordan Love. Start bench cut. Tell me what y'all think. I have to think about that for a minute. Nope, I have my answer. Start bench cut. Start bench cut, Herbert, Stroud, Love. Tell me your answer. Start bench cut. Herbert, Stroud, Love. I'm going to make a video about that. That's a cool video idea. Start bench cut Zach Wilson. <laughs> Start Herbert, bench CJ, deep. <laughs> That's messed up. Uh, cut Herbert, start CJ, and bench love. Stroud love Herbert. I'm assuming that's your start bench cut. Uh, Herbert CJ love. I'm assuming that's your start bench cut. Start Stroud, bench love, cut Herbie. Start CJ, bench love, cut love. <laughs> Okay, my, here's my answer. My answer would be, obviously, start C.J. Stroud. I think C.J. Stroud is a tier above both of these guys. I think C.J. Stroud is already one of the best QBs in the league outside of Patrick Mahomes. Uh, outside of Patrick Mahomes, I don't think there is a QB. Maybe I'd rather have C.J. Stroud than Josh Allen. I'd rather have C.J. Stroud than Joe Burrow. Yeah, I think outside of Patrick Mahomes, C.J. Stroud is my second favorite QB in the league, or best QB in the league, in my opinion. So I would start CJ. I love, hmm. listen, Jordan Love was great in the playoffs last year, but, you know, Justin Herbert is still, in my opinion, a better quarterback than Jordan Love is. You just, you just got to get him some better coaching and you really got to get him some wide receivers. He needs to do both of those. <laughs> but I would do, I would start Stroud, bench Herbert, cut Love. That's my answer. But the, the, the difference between Herbert, Herbert and Love is very, very close. The difference between CJ and those two is not very close. CJ's above all those guys. CJ's up here with Patrick Mahomes. That's what I think. I'd rather have CJ over Dak, too. Oh, that doesn't make me. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. What do you think about Zeke coming to Dallas? Uh, let me get down to that, actually. I'm gonna, let me scroll down. It's going to come up here any second now. Wait one minute. Let me just scroll down here and just get to it real quick. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, look at this. Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott is coming back to Dallas, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, give me one minute. 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 One minute, baby. One minute. 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 Hey, hey, this is not garbage anymore, ladies and gentlemen. This is not garbage anymore. I can wear this now. I can wear this now. This is, you know, we're back. We're back. We're better than ever. We love it. We're back. We're back. I love to be here. I'm happy. Happy guy. My Ezekiel Elliott jersey is no longer garbage. 
Um, so yes, I am very happy about Ezekiel Elliott coming back to Dallas. I'm very happy about it. I love it. He's one of my favorite running backs to ever play the sport. Actually, oh, you know, my favorite, my favorite player of all time, my favorite player of all time is probably Ricky Williams. I, I, I just bought like a bunch of Ricky Williams jerseys. I fucking love Ricky Williams. Love Ricky Williams, you know, Dolphins legend. That's like the heyday of football right there. But outside of Ricky Williams, Ezekiel Elliott, bruh. Ezekiel Elliott is my boy. I love Ezekiel Elliott. I'm not a Cowboys fan. I hate the Cowboys, you know? I, I'm not a fan of the Cowboys. The Cowboys burned me so many times. But Ezekiel Elliott, I'm a fan of him. I'm a fan of him. I love, I love Zeke. I love Zeke, baby. All day. All day. All day. I love that. All day. So I'm happy. I'm very happy about Ezekiel Elliott coming back to Dallas. I get to wear my jersey again. I hope they give him... Is somebody else wearing 21? Is there somebody else on the Cowboys wearing 21, or is he going to get 21 back? If he doesn't get 21 back, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, let's see. Cowboys. Actually, fuck that. Let me look it up on my computer real quick. Cowboys depth chart. Uh, wait. No, 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 no. Cowboys players, and then I got to go to their website. I used to do this all the time. Let's see. Does somebody else wear the number 21? Please, please don't let anybody else wear the number 21. Nope! 21 is available, ladies and gentlemen. 21, he's getting 15? I mean, I don't mind 15. That's his Ohio State number. I don't mind 15. But doesn't somebody wear 15? Trey Lance wears 15. He can't have 15. Trey Lance wears 15. We can't take Trey Lance's number. It's Trey Lance. That's the future Cowboys quarterback. We can't take Trey Lance's number. We love Trey Lance. We can't take Trey Lance's number. We're not allowed to do that. We're not taking Trey Lance's number away from him. I, I think I think Ezekiel Elliott will get 21 back, though, because nobody else is wearing it right now, and I don't know why he wouldn't freaking want his 21 back. I mean, it's so iconic. It's so iconic. It's the Ezekiel Elliott, Elliott 21 jersey. I love, I love it. I mean, how could he not take 21 back? 21. Ezekiel Elliott. We love Ezekiel. So I'm very, very, very happy about that. Now, fantasy wise, like, like, like fantasy football, real football wise, um, I'm not, I'm not doing anything with that. I mean, Ezekiel Elliott, you know, at this point in his career, is not anything more than a guy, you know, you can shove into the ground, you know, give him 200 carries. Uh, you probably can't give him 200 carries. He'll probably get hurt. But he's a guy you can give, you know, double digit carries to every game. He'll get three and a half yards per carry. And I mean, shit, it's really not great for like fantasy football or anything, but for a football team, a real football team, a reliable guy who you can give 15, 14, 13, 15 carries to a game, 12 to 13, 15 carries to a game, and he can get freaking up to 50 yards a game. I mean, you're not mad about it. You're not mad about it. And you get him on a nice cheap deal. Probably got him on a nice like three, $4 million deal with incentives. Not mad about it at all. So I'm really happy to see Zeke back in Dallas. It's awesome. If only we can get Jarvis Landry back into the Dolphins. That's the only thing that would make this day any better. That's the only thing that would make this day any better. Let's keep going, though. Let's see what we got. Here's our full story on the Cowboys bringing back Ezekiel Elliott. Don't care about the full story. Hey, uh, Zeke, uh, Zeke, you got to change your freaking profile picture, my guy. You got to change your profile picture. Get these freaking Patriots, these dirty little Patriots uniforms out of here, buddy. You got to get rid of these. What's he doing? What are you doing, Zeke? I need to see you in a Cowboys uniform. 15 fantasy winners and losers from the NFL draft? Yo, Keon Coleman? Listen, if y'all don't know who Keon Coleman is, you ought to go look at some highlights and figure out who Keon Coleman is. Because Keon Coleman is going to be a guy who comes into the league as a rookie and automatically is going to ball out because of the situation he was placed in. Remember the name, ladies and gentlemen, Keon Coleman, Florida State legend. We love Keon Coleman. We love Keon Coleman. Remember the name Keon. Remember it. Remember it, boys. Remember. Boys and girls, remember that name. The Cowboys have agreed to terms with their former star running back Ezekiel Elliott as the ex-rushing champ now gives Dallas a proven weapon in the backfield. Dude, wait, I want to see if they show... Wait a minute. Look. Look at all the running backs. See, if, you, if, you were, if you're watching on TikTok, if you were watching on Twitch, at Tico Fantasy Show, you could see uh, what I'm looking at right now. But uh, you're not. You're not watching. 
out on Tico Fantasy Show. You're watching on TikTok. So if you go over to Twitch, at Tico Fantasy Show, you follow, you get your name on the board behind me, and you can see what the fuck I'm looking at. And what I'm looking at right here <clears throat> is the Cowboys depth chart. So Ezekiel Elliott, Rico Dowdle, Deuce Vaughn, Royce Freeman, Malik Davis, Snoop Connor, and Nathaniel Pete. This is the seven running backs right now who are on the Patriots roster. These are the seven guys that are there right now. Now, by the time the season starts, I'd like to think that like at least fucking four or five of these guys are going to get cut. Probably four. But uh, for the moment, there's seven running backs in Dallas. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. But, dude... Tell me if this is a crazy take. I don't think this is a crazy take whatsoever. The running back you're going to want in the uh, Cowboys backfield next year is Rico Dowdle. Rico Dowdle is going to be Tony Pollard 2.0. Mark my words. Mark my words. Rico Dowdle is going to be Tony Pollard 2.0. Mark my words. Leon Sandcastle. That's funny. Uh, let's keep scrolling here, though, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these Jaden Daniels jerseys. Good thing I'm not buying one of those. Those are ugly. I don't, I don't like the Commander's jerseys. I think the Commander's... I don't like the Commander's jerseys. Not a fan. Not a fan of the Commander's jerseys. Colorado head coach Leon Sandcastle says he will not follow his sons to the NFL. I'm a father, not a baby daddy. <laughs> Good. He needs to stay at Colorado. He can't, like, coach an NFL team. As you can see, I mean, let's look let, look at this real quick. <laughs> Colorado football record. Uh, it usually is the first thing that pops up. Okay, yeah, well, last season they went 4-8, and eight, so <laughs> I don't think there's any NFL teams who want Deion Sanders coaching there at the moment. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm, reading your com I'm reading your comments, bruh. I'm reading com I'm reading your comments. I'm reading them. I wouldn't have just saw that if I wasn't reading them, eh? Uh, Rico is low-key crazy. Cowboys need to give him more plays. Facts. So facts. Let me keep scrolling here. Dude, love, love the Steelers draft class. Love the Steelers draft class. Fatanu, Frazier, Roman, Wilson, Peyton Wilson. You know, I was watching... What game was I watching? I was watching UNC... Versus NC State. So, uh, you know, Drake May, Tez Walker, UNC versus freaking Peyton Wilson on the other side of the ball at NC State. And, dude, Peyton Wilson's good. Peyton Wilson's good. I don't quite understand why he fell. I mean, I don't know if it was really a fall, but getting him in the, the late third, no. Did they get him in the late third or the fourth? I don't quite remember. I think it was the, I think it was the third. I think they got him in the third. I think they got Peyton Wilson in the third. But still, great pick. Him and Roman Wilson. Both great picks. Such I'm a fan of both of those. Huge fan. Dude, Roman Wilson. They still need another wide receiver. The Steelers need another wide receiver for sure. For sure. Roman Wilson and George Pickens is not enough. Definitely not enough. But, um, you know, they need one more wide receiver. Like a Tyler Boyd? Tyler Boyd on the Steelers? I would like to see that. Or they could still trade for somebody. They just need one more wide receiver because Roman Wilson's good, but he doesn't quite fill the void of Deontay Johnson completely. You know, you got to have somebody come in there who's a veteran. Like, I'm trying to think who's a free agent right now. OBJ would be cool, but they, OBJ won't go to Pittsburgh. It's too small, too, too, of a, too much of a small, uh, too small of a market for him. Where, who, what, what free agent wide receiver still out there could go to the Steelers? Van Jefferson's not good. I don't, I don't care about Van Jefferson. You shouldn't care about Van Jefferson either. He's not good. Uh, well, Odell... I mean, Odell's not... Uh, let me see what other free agent wide receivers are still out there. OBJ. Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd would be the perfect guy for the Steelers to get. And, I, you know, that was already rumored to be happening before. That'd be the perfect guy for them to get. Him, you know, you could get him on a two-year deal. A nice two-year... Two year twenty five, you know, give him third. I mean, he probably wants more than that. Two year thirty mil. I'd, I'd give I'd give Tyler Boyd a two year thirty million dollar deal. Hunter Renfro, mm, mm. Michael Thomas, mm. anything other than Tyler Boyd or OBJ 
If it's not one of those two, you'd be better off trading for somebody or just rocking out with frickin' Roman Wilson, George Pickens, and uh, Van Jefferson. You know, they don't really got... Mm. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you get somebody cheaper, like a, a MVS, I guess. I don't really like MVS. I think MVS is kind of ass, but whatever. Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup wouldn't be terrible. I don't know. They need one more big guy. Roman Wilson can play in the slot. It's going to be kind of hard for Roman Wilson to go outside, I think, in the NFL. He's going to be... He'll do it. He'll be able to do it. He's a great route runner, and he's fast, but, you know, I think I'd rather... Calvin Austin. Calvin Austin can step up. Calvin Austin could step up into a bigger role. Wouldn't mind seeing that. Wouldn't mind seeing that whatsoever. Calvin Austin's gross. Uh, let's keep scrolling. Texans wide receiver Tank Dell has been released from the hospital and is expected to make a full recovery from minor injuries and dirt in a Florida shooting last night. Nice. Tank Dell gonna be okay. He kind of he got out of the hospital like yesterday morning, and they're just now freaking reporting that shit. But whatever. Uh, freaking NFL rumors be behind. The Los Angeles Rams are hoping that defensive tackle Kobe Turner can step into a role as a leader after a good 2023 season with the departure of Aaron Donald. Yeah, dude, I'm so excited for the Rams, bro. I'm so excited for the Rams. Freaking, you know, you got Jared Verse, you got. Uh, Byron Young, you got Kobe Turner, and you got Braden Fisk. Oh, 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 I love that defensive line. So young, so good. I'm a fan. I'm a true fan of that team. I'm a fan. And I love that they got two of my Florida State boys. So, you know, we love when people get the Florida State guys. We love, we love this Florida State class. A lot of good guys from Florida State this year. Yo, Trey Benson. Trey Benson. Watch out, bro. Trey Benson on the Cardinals? Watch out, brother. Watch out. Yeah, I watched the video. Dude, I, I love that. That was a great video. Fisk and freaking, uh, Fisk and, uh, Verse. Verse, like, pulls up. It, it, that's so sick. That was a dope video. That was nice. Fisk started crying and shit, man. I was tearing up. That shit was nice. That was nice. Imagine Johnny Newton fell to the Rams. Woo! Woo! I, if he, if Johnny Newton fell to the Rams, they wouldn't have gotten Fisk. So I, I'm, I'm happy that, I'm happy that he didn't fall. I'd rather see them get Fisk. Even though Fisk isn't like, Fisk is going to take some work. He's a project, obviously. And, you know, Verse is going to take a little work as well, trans transitioning to, into the NFL. But nonetheless, I'm still hyped for the both of them. I think it's going to be sick. I think having, you know, two guys like that who were great teammates back in the day, a dynamic duo, I think that'll be good for the team. Uh, what's Caleb Williams doing here? <laughs> Caleb Williams be doing one of these. I don't know what that's about. Uh, Tua, Talia, Talia Tagovailo, ta, ta, la, 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 la. Tua's brother <laughs> is, uh, participating in Seahawks rookie camp. So, yeah, trust me, you don't want him as your quarterback, uh, Seahawks fan, so <laughs> don't worry about that. I'd rather have, I'd rather have Sam Howell or Geno Smith. <clears throat> Bill Parcells, dial 1-800-QUARTERBACK. Pat Presser is one of the greatest rants of all time and is spot on. Uh, oh my God, listen to this. Listen to this. So I saw this earlier today. This was kind of funny. Will Jalen Wright get playing time in Miami? Um, will Jalen Wright get playing time in Miami? That is a great question. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not until Raheem Mostert or Devin, Devon A. Chain get hurt. Once one of them get hurt, yes. Jalen Wright will come in, and then Jalen Wright will freaking... Jalen Wright will ball out when he comes in because he's so fast and so good. You know, he'll ball out. Who's Jalen Wright? Running back from Tennessee that the Dolphins drafted in the third round. He's going to be gross if he gets any playing time. And if he does get playing time, I think the whole goal with, uh, I think the whole goal with Jalen Wright is to, you know, Raheem Mostert's like 30, 32 or 31 or some crazy number. Raheem Mostert's old as hell. Raheem Mostert age. Raheem Mostert is 32 years old. So, you know, Jalen Wright, the whole idea is that maybe you still have that fast, speedy uh, running back duo like Jalen Wright and A-Chain. So I like that. I'm not I'm not opposed to it. I'm, I'm a fan still. I don't mind that pick. Were there better people we could have picked there? Yes. Were there better running backs that we could have taken later? Yeah. Or no, not better running backs that we could have taken later, but running backs that I would have rather have seen us take later. 
nonetheless, I'm fine with it. It's not, not terrible. Not terrible. It'll eventually work out, hopefully. Uh, oh, I wanted to read about freaking Stefan Diggs' brother. You guys in a, Oh, my God. So, Stefan and Trayvon Diggs' brother, Derez Diggs, was sentenced to two years of probation for his role in a violent elevator attack last year. So, uh, yeah. Shit, that's gotta suck. Yeah. That sucks. Uh, frickin', you know, you're, you got two brothers in the NFL and you're on probation. That's, uh... You know, not fun, not fun, not the way you want it to go, but that's life. Life doesn't go the way you want it to go sometimes. To everyone who mocked Jamal Charles for struggling to announce a draft pick, remember, he has a learning disability. Jamal comp competed in the Special Olympics as a child and delivered a powerful speech titled, I Can Fly. I can't hear it. The volume's too low. But, yeah, Jamal Charles, freaking, yeah. Shadur Sanders is currently the favorite to go number one overall in the 2025 draft. I hope he doesn't. I don't think he's that good. I don't think he's freaking, you know, on the same level as, like, Caleb Williams, Drake May, and Jaden Daniels whatsoever. I don't think he's there whatsoever at all. Former Jets offensive lineman Makai Becton is signing a one-year deal with the Eagles. I like it. I like it. Even though Makai Becton is a little bit of an L, he's been kind of, uh, you know, kind of, kind of mid, kind of bad <laughs> over the past couple years, ever since he's been drafted, actually. So, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe, maybe freaking the Eagles can fix him. They fixed other people before, especially offensive linemen. Uh, and I think we're getting close to the end of the news here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're getting close to the end of the news here. Oh, wait, let's watch this one video, though. This is freaking Taylor Lewan. This is Taylor Lewan freaking shotgunning, a, or not shotgunning, just uh, chugging a beer. And then freaking look at what his daughter does. Look at what his little daughter does. Look at this shit. This is like, this is, this is the freaking... The, the definition of kids copying their parents, you know, this is where you get frickin' <laughs> Kids copying their parents. Sick though, bro. Sick. Sick. Bears wide receiver Roma Dunze says he already hates the Packers. Every time I see green, I nearly puke. Really, really turned into a bear, my brother. Really turned into a bear. And now we're getting into Tank Dell. Frickin' getting shot. Okay. We have reached the end of the news, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching on TikTok, head over to Twitch at Tico Fantasy Show because I'm about to end the live on TikTok. And uh, if you go over there right now, like right this minute, like right now, like, like right now, if you go over there at Tico Fantasy Show on Twitch and you follow... You will get your name on this board. You will get your name written up there if you go and follow right now. So go over. Whoa, what's up with all these fireworks on Twitch and shit? I don't know what's going on with that. But go over there, follow, get your name on the board, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, what's up, Twitch people? What's up, Twitch people? It's time to write some names on the board. I got to put this on my chain. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Let's find some names. Let's look at some names. Uh... Let's see, what's chat saying? Opinion on Luke McCaffrey? Um, He's a McCaffrey at the end of the day. So before I doubt him and say that he's too small or that I don't think he's that good, I'm going to wait till he gets into the league and see what he does because those McCaffreys always end up doing more than you expect them to do. The, McCaffrey, the McCaffreys are always, you know, doing some crazy shit. So I'm not going to sit here and doubt a McCaffrey brother. I won't do it. But as a wide receiver three, I like him. He's a good wide receiver three. 
I don't mind him at all as a wide receiver three yet whatsoever. A Curtis Samuel replacement? I like it. I'm fine with it. But let's write some names. We got T3 Brown. We got Clipsy Aaron with an X. Clexby. Clixby Aaron, Gray Squirrel. Uh, TBH, you're trash. <laughs> Breaking news. The Atlanta Falcons have picked up the fifth year option on tight end. Oh, wait, I forgot to go into the, wait a minute. Sorry, guys. Look at this. I forgot to go into the other view. I'm still sitting on the news here. Um, Kyle Pitts just signed a uh, his fifth-year option. Or they, they picked up his fifth-year option. TBH or Traft. ZZ Yeet. Uh, duh, DND. Zachary B. Josh DBL. Cosmic Olive. Uh, G Beast. I'm trying to figure out where I want to write these names. G Beast and Trippy Gamer. Nice. All your names are written on the board. Oi. Ow. Dude, my chair is broken as hell. Nice. All of your names are on the board. Let me see what chat's saying. Opinion on the. Steelers QB situation. Justin Fields is going to be the man, the myth, the legend. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, thank you for following. You are written on the board. If you followed already, you are on the board. There's so many names up there. There's so many names. So many names. Too many names to count. But, yeah. That's all we got for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. We will be back again tomorrow, 4.30. I might come back again tonight at, like, 9.00 for the uh heat game so you know stick may, don't stick around but you know watch out maybe i'll be back then and uh yeah that's all i got for today thank you all very much for watching and be back tomorrow 4 30 thank you have a wonderful day